just having you guys on the show. We're having too much fun. I mean, Honey, I want stock options, the signing bonus. How did you develop a love for fitness and health? Violent crime in Minneapolis is on the rise. I can't afford the expensive ones with the little Sesame Street logos on them. Now, Robert, we are going to keep you here, and up next, we're going to invite you. I'm hanging out in the living room with my cousin. understand Lisa Nowak. You know, the female astronaut who drove from Houston to Florida in a fit of heated rage wearing a diaper. But I do. I don't think she's crazy at all. In fact, I like her style. You see, Lisa and I have one thing in common. No, I'm no rocket scientist, but I'm a stalker. People always ask me what I'm doing in Minnesota. I'm a country girl who loves Southern living. But Sean, my boyfriend at the time, was trying to get away from me. I went to his apartment in Texas one day, and there was a for rent sign on the door. When I finally found him, he was in the Boyfriend Witness Protection Program, living in St. Paul, pretending to be a Somali refugee, and driving a cab. He thought he was going to shake me. Hmm. I've been stalking since I was 12 years old. I scaled the outside of an apartment building in heels and hid in the trunk of a car for three days. So finding a man 2,000 miles away was a piece of cake. You know, I never thought about it before, but I could get rich doing this. If the government ever really wants to find Osama bin Laden, they need to call me. Because there's no mountain high enough and no valley low enough to keep a stalker from finding a man. Just ask my husband, Sean. He can vouch for me. Every time something happens, gas prices go through the roof. Our tornado almost blew through this week. Gas went up 20 cents. Tropical storm developed in the Gulf. It rose another 15 cents. And when Rosie O'Donnell left the view, I paid another five cents per gallon. Go figure. Every year around this time, I wind up in countless debates about the importance of Black History Month. I mean, should we still set aside February to highlight the accomplishments of people of color? I believe hospitals should let you stay six months after the baby is born. You know, as an adjustment period. But a mere three days after I delivered Andrew, we were evicted. I tried going back inside to reclaim my bed, but the doors were locked. Thank you so much for being here today on Crossroads. We appreciate you being here. I, I had a baby uh, 10 months ago, and I went from a 2 yes. almost to a 12, and girlfriend is just not looking good in my old jeans. So you're going to decide today to do something, right? Yeah, uh -huh. you can't put off tomorrow what you can do today. Right. I'm going to stop at Krispy Kreme, get some donuts, and I'm going to head right on over to Bally's. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to ask you, is there a special bond between dads and their daughters? How important is it for daddy to kind of protect the kids? Yeah, that's, a, that's a tough question. How has life changed uh, since the kids before, before they got domestic violence? I'm guessing folks think if we sweep it under the rug long enough, it'll go away got to talk about this. What's some of the startling statistics that you found? What are some of the warning signs? Happy and well-balanced children come from happy and well-balanced parents. I only have one child and I do not know what to do. Are you hearing that sentiment from other moms? Being a mom is the hardest job in the world. Are mothers struggling with that or is it just me? Talk to me about moms and in support. Black on black crime is on the rise and that's not the only startling trend. What's happening? Well, it's tragic. Short of staying inside all summer, what, what can we do to, to, to stay safe in the cities? Well, this is the number one thing that, that we're working on. And you get kids involved in your program. How do you do that? One of the ways we do that is... With the rap lyrics taking on a turn for the worse and the recent popularity of shows like Flavor of Love, it's open season on women. What, what's going on? I'll tell you, uh, Shaletta, I, I got to ask that same question. How do you guys use your newspapers to deal with these topics? What are some of the concerns you're hearing from your readers? You're targeting specific communities, um, challenges for you. And just having you guys on the show, we're having too much fun. Honey, I want stock options, the signing bonus. How did you develop a love for fitness and health? Violent crime in Minneapolis is on the rise. I can't afford the expensive ones with the little Sesame Street logos on them. Yeah, Robert, we are going to keep you here. And I'm hanging out in the living room with my cubs. That's how we'll take